Today, we're taking a look at the Cortec Alpha and Omega. What's up guys? If you guys are unfamiliar with Cortec, they're a newer brand trying to provide some newer technology and innovation, and these are their first two paddles. So first, we'll talk about the things that are the same with these two paddles. Both are this unique elongated shape, which has a six inch long handle, great for two-handed backhands. But most importantly, what makes Cortec paddles unique is their core technology. Both paddles use 16 millimeter honeycomb cores that are then filled with foam. Cortec claims that this gives their paddles a huge increase in power, sweet spot, and reduces the chances of core crushing and delamination. Now for how these paddles are different. We'll start by taking a look at the Alpha. The Alpha uses a 16 millimeter polypropylene core and a 3K carbon fiber face. This combination results in a softer, more plush filling face that offers great control and still has plenty of power when you take full swings. The Omega, on the other hand, uses a 16 millimeter Nomex core paired with an 18K carbon fiber face. That combination makes this paddle one of the most unique paddles I've ever played with. This paddle has an extremely stiff feel off the face, which gives it great pop and excellent power, but the foam filled core dampens it enough to where it still has good control. I found this combo of a Nomex core with the foam filling to offer a really unique play style that was unlike anything that I've played before. The foam really transforms the Nomex core, giving it much more playability and forgiveness, but the Nomex still provides an extreme amount of pop and power. All of that resulting in a paddle that feels extremely solid and rigid while still being controllable. Overall, I really like both of these paddles. There are a few things to consider. First, the handle shape. This is a personal gripe of mine. Some people have no problems with it, but the handle is a bit on the square side, and I find that I have trouble aligning the paddle on my hands because of that. Also, due to the shape of these paddles, plus the foam filling in the cores, these paddles do have a little bit higher swing weight than normal. So if you're sensitive to higher swing weight paddles, these might not be the right option for you. And this particular shape, much like the Zane Navratil signature, isn't for everyone. It's a shape that prioritizes handle length over paddle face. So if you don't have a two-handed backhand, it might not be for you. However, I'd really love to see how this tech translates to other paddle shapes, as I think this tech is very promising and creates a very unique and solid feel in the paddle. I actually found that after using these paddles and then going back to other paddles, it made traditional paddles feel hollow and empty, which makes sense considering these are filled with foam. But that foam filling does translate to more stability, more power, and an overall perceived larger sweet spot. If you guys are interested in picking one of these up, you can use discount code SCOOTER to save $10 off your order. I think Cortec is off to a promising start with these two paddles, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do with this technology in the future. Cortec is kind enough to do a giveaway in this video, so we will be giving away one of the Cortec Alpha paddles. To enter the giveaway, just like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below on why you're interested in the Cortec paddles. A winner will be randomly selected from the comments, and I'll reach out directly to let you know you've won. As always, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments, and stay tuned, I have plenty more reviews coming soon.